In this video, I'm going to guide you through assigning work to your Google Classroom. The first step in this is making sure that you've synced your Google Classroom to ReadWorks. So you're going to begin by going to readworks.org and logging in. I'm already logged in. I know I'm logged in because I see my name in the corner. Once you're logged in, you need to go to Class Admin. That's going to be the dashboard where you can create your first class. So from here, let's create our first class. Click on Create a Class and choose Import from Google Classroom. Now ReadWorks will ask you which Google account you'd like to use. Make sure you're clicking on your staff email for school and choose the class that you would like to use. In this case, although I have many Google Classrooms, I'm going to choose Example Contingency Class, Miss Jack Way. Fill in what grade and leave the box check that says Publish Assignments to Google Classroom and click on Import. ReadWorks is now importing all of your students from the Google Classroom into ReadWorks for you. Now that your class is ready, you can make its first assignment available. So I'm going to come up to Assignments and Progress. Here, you're going to see that if I choose Example Contingency Class, I have no current assignments. Let's put something in there. I'm going to go to the District Curriculum. Here, I have a fourth grade contingency plan open. Doesn't matter for this video. And the link is there. Now, a big misconception is some staff members were taking this link and putting it directly into their Google Classroom. When students click on that link, it's not going to show them the work. I'm going to put that in another video. But right now, I want to show you that as a teacher, now that I'm logged into ReadWorks, if I click on this link, it's going to take me right to the assignment. And up in the corner, it says, would you like to assign this or print this? Well, I'm going to assign it. I'm going to turn on the read aloud. And I'm going to turn on some vocabulary support and even the activity. Here, I need to choose the class in Google Classroom that I would like to assign this to. If you don't see a class there, go back to the beginning of this video and add a class from Google Classroom. I'm going to assign it to the whole class, leave this box checked so it publishes right to the stream, and hit assign. The next thing you're going to see is a confirmation box. And from there, if you'd like to assign it again, you can to a different class, or you can go to the assignment within ReadWorks. Here is your assignment on the assignment and progress page. In a later video, I'm going to show you how we're going to grade this so that you can make sure your students get feedback. 